Julie was worth waiting for no matter where they shipped me. They shipped me to Southeast Asia. We, we were somewhat insulted by uh, a problem that arose with the uh, Air Force on the Air Force base. You're in a strange country now with strange and lovely girls and some even stranger diseases. I will personally guarantee you that if you play with these girls, you are going to get VD. They had barbed wire all around the base, and they had guards uh, 24 hours a day. But they were discovering that some of their own troops had been nearly killed by their guards because they were crawling under the barbed wire at night to get to a little group of hutches and, and uh, hooches that were a few hundred yards away from the, uh, the air base that turned out to be populated by uh, Vietnamese prostitutes. Um, and so you had the phenomenon of American troops shooting at their own people, trying to crawl back in because they had been out at night visiting these prostitutes. The American concern was that a number of the uh, troops had developed venereal diseases. And they thought that the, uh, the Vietnamese should do something about treating the young women. Went to the bathhouse. This little broad put me in a little room, a little town. I was sitting in there sweating up a storm. And then she gave me a rub down, sort of to relieve the tension. She worked on my muscle, every muscle. We tried to explain that there were two Vietnamese doctors for this whole province, that the idea of uh, sending them out they wanted once a week to treat these young women uh, was not uh, particularly feasible. Why didn't their doctors do it? Well, don't you know how terrible the scandal would be if American newspapers found out that Air Force doctors were treating these prostitutes so that uh, American troops would not contract venereal disease. You think getting gonorrhea every time you turn around it makes you some kind of hero? He just couldn't quit. Haven't you got anything better to do with your life than waste it in every whorehouse over here? Don't put me on. Man, I'm putting you down. And so we had to work out a, a sort of a compromise. One afternoon a week, one of the Vietnamese doctors would come out to treat the young women. But two of the Air Force doctors that were on the base would go into the province hospital to treat the local population in return. And there would be as much penicillin and antibiotics as we needed uh, for that purpose, for both the province and for the young women. And so a uh, delicate uh, PR problem uh, was solved in a good old American creative fashion. <laughs> 